Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel, in this video, we will discuss COM Vault, Tape vs Disk Library Data Storage Method. Please, like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. In this video, we will see how the data is stored in a tape library, versus disk library. Let's first check on tape library. Expand storage resources. Expand libraries. Expand media by location. Click media in library. On a tape library, the data is stored on tape cartridges. The tape cartridges come in various capacities, like LT04, with tape capacity of 800 GB uncompressed, and LT05, with capacity of 1.5 TB uncompressed. Each tape cartridge is identified by barcode. The barcode is of 8 character label, which is a 6 character volume ID, and a 2 character media ID. Right click on the tape media. Select properties. This is a digit barcode. The unique ID is generated for the media, when the media was imported and discovered. This unique ID is also written on the tape and serves as OML, on media label. Media Info tab, gives the information about the media. Side ID, gives information about media capacity, and the usage information. Ideally, we cannot see the actual contents of the tape media. Right click on the tape. View, Contents. All we see are the backup jobs, and not the chunks. Let's check how the disk library, mount path information looks like. Expand disk library. Right click on mount path. Select properties. On the mount path properties, we do see information like location of mount path, disk size, etc. We do not see the media ID and other information like we saw for tape media. There is no information about the same on the other tabs as well. Let's check at the physical location of the disk library, how the data is stored. Browse to the location where disk library created. This is the name of the mount path created, when we created disk library with this location. Device label is just a file, and we do not know the file format, so let's open it with notepad. Let's translate this, as the serial number of the disk library, for easy understanding. CV Magnetic is the disk library location, under which the actual data is stored. The content of the disk library looks like this. Let's open the mount path configuration file using notepad. We see the mount path ID. Media agent host ID. Access path. Media agent name. If this file is lost, or corrupt, you won't be able to access the mount path. We can recreate or fix the file, which we will try cover in another video. Open the mount path label file using notepad. The label file contains information like com cell ID, access path, mount path ID, etc. V underscore numbers represent virtual volumes. We can compare them as barcodes like in tape library, for easy understanding. Open one of the volumes. This volume contains chunk, chunk map trailer, and media label. Chunk underscore number contains the actual backup data. Chunk map trailer holds information about how the chunks are mapped according to information contained in the chunks header. This information is needed during recovery as to which chunk holds what information. We cannot read the contents of this file. It can only be decoded by com vault. This media label, we can compare it with tape unique ID or OML. Open the file with the notepad. CV media label version. Com cell ID. This is the OML on media label. 
for this volume. Media side ID, similar to tape media side ID. The contents that are seen here is a disk library without deduplication enabled. We are using this disk library for both non dedupe and dedupe backups. Let's check another volume, which is used by dedupe backup. If you notice, there is a difference the way the files are created in a dedupe setup. The media file contents are same as we discussed before. Chunk map trailer is same as we discussed before. We have new file called CVSI volume. Let's open the chunk folder. We have chunk metadata and S file, which is segmentation file. These are created if you have the duplication enabled for backups. Let's check the other chunk folder. We have similar information here. Let's check the log files which are useful during tape or disk library troubleshooting. Let's browse to log files location. Ideal path would be Drive C Program Files Com Vault Contents Tor Log Files Library 211 This log file is created when tape library was configured for this environment. If you have more than one library, then you have different library NNN log files. Open the log file. You see the barcodes scanned, or visible in the tape library. You can also view the tape library activity, like tape mount, unmount, move media etc. If library encounter errors, you see the errors logged here. For disk library. You do not see any library log file. Disk library information is available in CVMA log file on the media agent. Open the log file. Scan the log file to see the directory creation. We will end this video here. Stay tuned for more videos by subscribing to our channel if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.